we're, we're homo sapiens, and that's about well, yo, eight steps down. I, I just want to make clear, because this is going out on the TV or whatever, that yeah. I, I don't do that stuff. I ain't got nothing against it. Oh. Got a little bit of air. Sorry. <laughs> just freezing it down. Are you really freezing? Yeah, it's cold night. Really? I'm literally like... I know you're in your Hawaiian shirt on a <laughs> tropical <laughs> island. Three quarter vlog. Yeah, we're here. We call it a vlog. We call it a vlog. <laughs> <laughs> we're vlogging. We're vlogging. This we is sit a vlog. down. We sit down for thirty minutes and What's talk. What's up, guys? You're back to the drink water vlog. Drink water vlogs. We're here at the couch. Um, we're talking about um, caffeine, alternate medicate medicine, herbal yes. medicine, herbal medicine, which cure things. Yes, it's like why take why take antibiotics when you could take like some cayenne pepper or cayenne some pepper leaves and or some lemons. Yeah. It, the universe, our planet, is designed to have yes. these herbs and plants and nuts and whatever. Yeah, which cure all help things us. that we yes. get. Yeah, like you have this problem, I can't sleep. Take some of this. Yeah, I. Uh, it's the greatest keep vomiting, one take people this. get. It's where they like shake. Yeah, and they have like a bit of CBD, and they yes. literally just stop shaking. Yeah, yeah, that's like, that's illegal. They're shaking like in different ways. They're like dancing, <laughs> like reggae music. They're like skanking. They're still doing the same thing. It hasn't cured yeah. anything. He just, he just starts. This may be worse. <laughs> he got into ska music. <laughs> he's like shaking and he takes the path. They look over and he's doing this. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. The one I, my greatest example that's worked for me is the sea salt for a mouth ulcer. Yeah. You just rinse. Sea salt and water over the spot, go to sleep. It's gone pretty much when you wake That's up. That's crazy. And you can feel it. That's the greatest sensation. It feels so natural. I'm like, oh, yeah. that's what I needed. Mm. That's exactly, that was it. That's all I needed. Yeah. It was calming. It gets you kind of inspired, I think, just to like switch up everything. Yeah. It would be very nice. Like I do have this, this, this vision this kind of dream of living on a farm. Of a utopian. Or even just like with a family. I'm on a farm with yeah, a family. utopian. We have like chickens. Yeah. Maybe like a cow. Vegetable garden. And you just kind of have everything there. Land. Cows. I think a cow feeds a person for a whole year. Really? Something like just that. Just from their milk. No, or just meat. killing it, really. You kill one cow. You only Gosh. have to kill one a year. It's not like it's That's a crazy. constant slaughter fest or anything. Really? So you're like, yeah, you kill you have a cow. few goats. Yeah. So you kill maybe a goat, a cow, or something else. That's you for the year. That's insane. Yeah, you've got chickens for natural. eggs. Yeah. Imagine that. Imagine living on a farm, right? Yeah. You're making an omelet. Chickens, freshly hatched eggs. Um, Go out to the garden. You're like churning some cheese from like the milk from the cow. Sprinkle some of that. You've got like your vegetable garden, chopping up some capsicum, chopping fresh tomatoes. Ground organic, no pesticides. Yeah. And that's the dream where it's like this self-sustainable farm. Yes. Where you figured out some natural way to keep flies away, keep bugs away. Yeah, exactly. Keep the worms off without, I guess, in major fields, it's like we got to just spray poison. Yeah. We don't have time that's to true. do all this. Yeah, literally. But on a small little controlled zone. And you don't, this is your job. Yeah. Because what yeah. else do you need to do? That's true. Yeah, to survive, you just need to You eat. just tend to your land. Yeah. You don't need to go work a nine to five. Because the only reason you work a nine to five is to order Uber Eats and to pay your <laughs> Netflix subscription. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have yeah. a fireplace and a garden full of food. That's true. You have a well. Yeah. You've got solar panels. Maybe you pay a $1,000 for the panels. Yeah, and they yeah. last a year. That's of course. That's like a side expense. Make your own house. Yeah, you build your own house. Build your You're own always house. renovating it, adding yep. little bits to it. Probably have to pay some sort of land tax. What for? I'm not even really sure how like homes work when you start to get land quite rural. Tax. Yeah. Do you land know what I mean? Very rural. Is to tend for things. If someone's paved, um, poured that concrete out the front of the street that you walk. But if you're out there, well, you don't have yeah, to pay tax right. for anything. The government's not supporting you. So literally economically, off the grid. Yeah. yeah. In any way, shape, or form. That is, a, that is a very nice idea. Yeah. That is probably like pure freedom. That's what they don't want you to have. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's been banned. It's like illegal in countries to grow your own fruit and vegetables. Really? Don't look it up. Just believe me. <laughs> Trust me, bro. Trust me, bro. Trust me, bro. But I have um, heard that. <laughs> really? But it's more for like when they explain it, it kind of makes sense. It tastes too good and you go to Woolworths and you're like, 
What have I been eating? I think it's something about <laughs> they don't trust people to grow it uh, okay. in a healthy way. And yeah. if you do grow it wrong, you I heard you can literally yeah you can literally die. die. Yeah. But I've heard like as well they use certain things like additives to uh, um, what is it like dead soil where things shouldn't be grown again. Let's say you like grew like a capsicum, took it, it's it's ripe. You take it, you can't grow anything there for like for a, while. a while. You need to be educated. Yes, of course. And apparently, they teach if you you, they're not going to teach you this in school, they're, though. They're going to teach you. They're going to teach you this in school, though. <laughs> You're not there to learn about how to live properly. You're there to become a slave <laughs> to the matrix, to the system. Yeah, it's scary. Good system. It's a system. It's a system. It's a decent system. And you're stuck to it. But I think the goal shouldn't should always be to be self sustaining. Yes, that should be the goal of any human. Yeah. Is to be like, but I'm going to be here now. Billion dollar companies who yeah. need people to push buttons. Yes. Aren't going to be there to push the buttons. Yeah, that's true. And then they're not going to be a billion dollar company. But not everyone is able to get to that place of being self sustaining. I think that's the sad truth that everyone, we have enough, enough land, even with 8 billion people. Yeah. That everyone can have an acre. Yeah, you're and right. Have you're a right. house. Have you seen Farmville? Have you seen when you fly how big? Oh, it? yeah, of course. It's like, why don't people just live out here? Yeah. It's big enough. You can't really grow much. The Australia, conditions. I'm not talking about Australian Ah, oh, okay. You're talking about certain... Just every, when you just fly around the world. And right. You're just looking out the window. And the majority of the time, you're just looking at empty land. That's interesting. Not deserts. Not the Sahara or the Australian desert. Yeah. yeah. It, places that are like rich and green where you could technically grow and set up. Yeah. Um, little ecosystem for it's yourself. Great theory, Billy Carson, good conspiracy theorist. Yes. Yeah. Probably the top, the longest going, the king, I would say. Billy like, Carson. Yeah. He has a theory that like the Sahara and the Australian outback and the Middle East and these desert um Yeah, this is him. Oh that's him. African American in a suit. I followed him when I was probably like twelve on Instagram. Oh, okay. And he's now he's got millions of followers. When he had like a thousand followers. Yeah, yeah. He was like forbidden knowledge and he would just do random posts of like ancient civilizations. Yeah. That was huge. That was like $20,000 tours through Gosh. the pyramids. And really? What's his take? Like what's his whole like idea of He's the world? very much on the Anunnaki, but just one of his things. What's the Anunnaki? We'll get into that. Okay. One of his exactly. things with the Sahara and our outback, the Australian outback and the Middle East is that it's um, it's all human disaster. This isn't some evolutionary cycle of like deserts. This is the whole world was green and abundant and natural. Yeah. Because it's designed for life to thrive. And this is a bomb has gone off. And the unplanned, East. destructive nuclear oh, weapon okay yeah, yeah. 50,000 years ago was exploded in the Sahara and that's why it's all desert this isn't some random natural thing that just happens the Australian outback this was all green and flourishing and human intervention has detonated some horrific yeah walls. yeah I, that's other crazy. nature doesn't make, make mistakes and put deserts where nothing can live this is like some human or some other life form has done this in like the middle of Australia let's say it was really populated yeah and this is 50,000, 60,000 yeah, years ago, 100,000 years ago. And I guess you probably, let's say, had some kingdom or some, or some area yeah. of commerce in the middle of Australia because it's like, let's try to be in the right smack bang in the middle yeah, just because it looks cool. <laughs> and <we're, laughs> you have to travel pretty far to get in. Yeah, And then let's say some country or some area was like, okay, no, we're going to blow. We're going to send like a, a next level nuke. We could have been technology a next level... That, technological <laughs> where it's like those two countries nuked each other. Yeah, literally, literally. And they were kind of the same people. I wonder who was living in Australia. Africans. Some advanced African civilization. Yeah. Blew themselves out of oblivion. And it's the same, and it's like the Middle East. Mm. And all those places. A very old world as well and was the start of the old world. Is that they crawled out of Sahara and grew Mesopotamia, which is our oldest known civilization. And right. then the rest are all just theories. So there's no what, proof whatsoever. So these areas Yes. <laughs> these areas here, there was a bomb that went off here. Yeah. Again, yeah, right near the pyramids, right kind here. of up around here. 
And then we've got this area here. Also, I guess, it yeah. stretched all there. We've got that area here. That was probably the old Europe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was here. Um, oh, actually, no, you've got Kazakhstan there. But something would have gone on there. What's going on in Europe? It Maybe was empty. They, yeah. People weren't there. Interesting. So that was still all good. That yeah. was all fine. But everyone was there, here. There wouldn't have been that many people. And what was going on? Okay, so they kind of hit <laughs> the States. <laughs> there was some stuff going on. They were, they were a bit of a problem. Um, these guys were a big problem. Big problem. <laughs> <laughs> we were a huge And well. then we were a huge problem. This is where I get scared on maps. Are you screen recording? Yes. Look at how big Antarctica looks. At the bottom. Bottom. Come on. I don't even know where they Oh, uh, yeah. It's like, what? <laughs> That's the size of Antarctica. That is hilarious. It's like, what? That's funny. It's nuts. <laughs> I guess it's just like the water. <laughs> What's the water? It's like, look at it, how, how big this is. But if this was just icy. That's land. Where? That's a continent. Pacific. Antarctica. Oh, yeah, I know. O- this is land. Look how big it is. Right. But it's all like frozen. The most unexplored it's frozen place in the though, world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it's But like it's not frozen water. It's frozen land. Oh. It's not just ice. It's okay, frozen and yeah. created a big ice. Right. It's land frozen. Interesting. And I wonder what happened. That's, I guess people talk about the ice age. This is yeah. scary because I always, let's say, if I'm looking at a map, I'm looking up around here. Well, that's where, it get, that's where we get into the funnest one. Yeah. Flat Earth. Okay. Ice yeah. Wall. Truman Show. Okay, yeah, nice. So we're in an ice wall. So it's the theory that humans, um, how funny is that? We aren't actually the smartest animal on the planet. Right. And we've been duped. Who's smarter than us? There's another life form that's above us that's smarter. Right. It's been here longer, um, has tricked humanity, ants. It would look at us like ants. Do you reckon ants in their little... Say you get a uh, thousand ants. You put them in a huge container. Yeah. You reckon they're like, I bet there's land outside of this container. Or they're like, I think this is it. Interesting. I think this is just where we are. Yeah. Be like, no, the science guy has literally proven that you can't go through that plastic wall. It's impossible. Interesting. And one ant's like, I feel like we're trapped in here. And we're in like some ice wall. Yeah. And there's some smarter animal out (laughs) there that has trapped us in this wall. Mm. And we don't even know what's out there. They don't want us to reach them. We're trapped because we're crazy. Interesting. And we're, we're an evil, weird animal that's a bit too smart, a bit too non-trusting. Yeah. That we're like, we don't even want them to know we're here. Let's just lock them in this little landlock. Interesting. For all we know, pla- this land just goes for... It's we could be on. like 5% of how big the earth actually is. Yeah, interesting. And we, we're in this tiny little thing and we're like, oh gosh. I think, uh, like, a, a good question <laughs> to ask... conspiracy. No, but it's good. I guess, like... A good question to ask is, isn't the world big enough? Hmm? Do we really need more? Just in like a real basic sense, like I think we got enough. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? I mean, there's better rebuttals. You could just go into space. But like, don't we think we have enough? Isn't there enough to explore out there? In a hundred years, will it be enough? I think it's enough now. We've done a pretty good job with like flights. We can kind of fly everywhere. Yeah. Um, and you can go pretty far to some pretty different places. You can see a lot of different things. Yep. How much more do you need to see? Like, let's say this was so small. This isn't an argument for I want to see more land. <laughs> right, just and to see the if there's more out thing there. Where it's like, that's why I love these conspiracies. Yeah. And you can go maybe insane. Right. And it is insanity. That's the scariest part. Because it's like, what if that's true? Yeah. That's insanity. To be like, there's... We could potentially be in such a small if we are if we are and there's there's no if the, if there wasn't a potential and it was the truth and someone uncovered it for whatever reason yeah and they knew it you're insane no one will ever believe you mm. the idea of it is crazy yet somewhat believable yes of course I think most people could get on board to but be like so yeah, there's more in our day and age impossible. <laughs> 
to disprove. It's like, oh, do you have a gazillion dollar spaceship and you're going to go fly over Antarctica? Mm. No. Do you have a boat that could go? No. Does anyone? No, not really. How would you imagine it looks? Let's say the, the voyage happens. It's like, instead of we going to the moon, we're going over Antarctica. Yeah. Where literally you've got this thing, it can fly for like years. Yeah. Um, we're doing, we're going to see how far we can go. You can't go over Antarctica. <laughs> That's where the theory gets fun. So there's military zones. There, you, when you go to Antarctica, you can go on a cruise. You go to, you saw how big it was. Yeah. You go to that much of it. You go to a little speck. Right. <laughs> and you're like, come here and you can walk all the way around, but look how big it was. Yeah, that's crazy. You go to, you can look, yeah, so you, you go here. Oh, is this where people go? You go here. It's where all the zone Ah, uh, okay. It's on the actual main island. Thing. Oh, it's a church? Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. This is where you go. You go to that little thing, the uh, little okay. spine of it. And you're like, what do you mean, bro? I've been to Antarctica. I've seen it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It was pretty crazy. I didn't know there was a church there. That's fair. So this is Antarctica. Oh, and you got all the little towns there. Yeah. That is insane. I wonder what the temperature is. Like minus 40. If there's a smarter life form, they don't want us to be able to reach it, do they? Yeah, that's true. Imagine they'll see these encampments or whatever and be like, dang, they're getting pretty close. Look how big it was. They're not even... Look at these fellas. Yeah, all the penguins are Look there. At these guys. That's what they want to stop us from seeing. <laughs> these guys. <laughs> these the crazy characters. <laughs> they imagine these are the leaders. These are the, the aliens. Yeah. They disguise themselves as these, like... I don't think they've realised yet. <laughs> Let's we're trying back. to be as cute and as like innocent, innocent adorable, yes. and loving as possible. As, look at our arms. How can we possibly even <laughs> hurt you? We can barely even walk. <laughs> They're the ones that literally rule the world. <laughs> These are the reptilians. <laughs> Stopping us from going too far. <laughs> you, they make like a lot of progress, like all the scientists and stuff, and this. just a thousand penguins are all. On I the think hill. you need to stop, my brother. <laughs> I think you got a little bit too far, brother. <laughs> Let's research Let's that way. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to research this way, my brothers. Nothing to see here, brother. It's time to turn around. The other way. <laughs> They're just holding a gun. <laughs> <laughs> this have like fingers <laughs> coming out. Um, that's crazy. This is the only <laughs> treaty on Earth that's never been broken. What is the Antarctic Treaty? Okay, let's see. What's and what is that? It's where every country has agreed in all the shared zones of Antarctica. Oh, here we go. Antarctic Treaty, nineteen fifty fifty nine. Twelve countries. Um. Okay, Antarctic should be used for peaceful peaceful purposes only. Is that the? That's the treaty. Yeah. Um, so during doing? the Cold War, Russia were like, oh, we won't go to Antarctica and be close to our enemies for insane benefit. We'll agree. Okay, yeah. What a coincidence. But they'll go to Cuba. They'll go to every single other country. Yes. Happy to do it. But there they were all like, no, no, let's all we'll agree on that. What's the deal? Antarctica's just a little bit too convenient to have a setup. Hmm? It's too convenient to have a setup in Antarctica. Wouldn't be well, it's actually in s- extremely inconvenient <coughs> for most countries and the living condition. How does the world even work? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at this and I'm like, how did Russians get to Antarctica? How? Let's take a boat. So they That'd be close to Australia, which would benefit them. Yeah. This during the Cold War, not now. So I think it's does, all good enough. How now. does the world work? I'm trying to figure out how to get to Antarctica. Wouldn't you kind of go up, further up? Is it a globe? Why wouldn't they just go up? Yeah. Why do they act like it's flat? <laughs> it's weird. It's like it's not spinning. Just gonna knock wouldn't you door? just jump and wait? And then you land back on that? I was thinking, let's say you're in Russia. We're going to Antarctica, guys. You should. Yeah. We're just going to knock on the door. It's like a penguin. It's like, they go down. Fuck us over, brother. They're like, no, nah, we'll actually we'll fly against the whole... Every continent to get there. That's crazy. But it's right there. Yeah. Wouldn't it just be there? Yeah. You go up and around. Probably is quite a while away. I can imagine. I don't know what ocean would be in between and that's that large. Mm. And why not try to do that? You get to... Because everyone's always talked about you go too deep and then you reach Australia. You're uncon- You're uncovering the truth, my brother. <laughs> 
Um, so this up a flight path from Argentina to Sydney. Ah, okay, let's have a look. You would just fly over Antarctica. Um, look how long it takes. Um, we're looking at Argentina to Sydney. This is a flight path. I'm going to see if there is a okay. <laughs> flight path experiment for round earthers. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh, wow. Strange. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> You're not allowed to cross it. You can't cross it, it seems like. <laughs> That's crazy. It's too cold up there in like minus 100 degrees in the skies to go over a 40 degree country. Minus 40 degree. So the cold isn't an excuse. How long would it take? Here we go. 12 and a half hour flight at Perth. Um, here we go. The commercial flight. There's the flat earth map. <laughs> oh, okay. The ice wall. Oh, and they believe in the ice wall. They know. Yeah. Right. Of course. Okay, so there's an ice wall that's blocking everyone in. We're trapped. And if they told people we're trapped, people would freak out. True. <laughs> <laughs> people would freak out that we're trapped. We don't know who's trapping us. We can't go into space because there's a big wall that stops us. So we keep launching rockets trying to break it. Yeah. But can't do it. That's creepy. That's legitimately creepy. Yeah. Like that's a freaky thought to be like, yeah, we're in our area. We're covered by ice. There's a huge ice wall. If we get close, we get shot down by something that we don't know. What do you mean shot down? Is that a thing that actually happens? Supposedly. It's like Admiral Byrd went there. And it's like you can't fly past a certain zone in Antarctica without just getting shot out of the sky. Okay. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, Richard E. Bird? Yeah. Oh, here we go. He's trip to Antarctica. And they... What's going on? Bird, Antarctic expedition. What did he do? Let's get out of this. This is like, it's not proof. because He wrote one book. It's not blah, 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 blah. Right. He is a bad example in a way because he's somewhat disprovable because it's not certain evidence. Okay. But what's like the uh, the breakdown? Like of, what's the... Uh, for him? Yeah. There's a few. There's one that he went through the centre and made it to the other side. But the main one is that he flew over Antarctica and he found lush green, a lush green continent the size of America. Really? Then there's others who went into like a portal into the underworld and blah blah blah. blah. But that Let's see, do they gonna talk about photos allegedly from his Antarctic expedition? Let's have a look. Are there any photos here? I think it would have been pretty no. It would just be a few of the boat like He's rocking. Find up a brother. Is he is this here him talking about? Trying to figure. Is this what he found? Oh, no, that's just... Um, oh, here we go. Little America. Oh, South Pole. An area as big as the United States. Oh, here we go. So, he, did he find warm land in Antarctica? Um... And this is supporting his diaries. Okay, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, so it was like some diary journal that he wrote. Support the okay, so it, it supports a flat earth with a misconception. Uh, he's a real person, respected um, naval officer and explorer. This one kind of is a dead end. It's not a good one. Is you could Google like how long does it take to sail around the world? Yeah. How long does it take to sail around the world? Three to five years. And then how long did it take Captain Cook to sail around Antarctica? Three years. Second voyage. Is that it? Oh. Yeah. So he sailed around the world because 
was an ice wall around the whole world, and he did the whole course. Interesting. Sailing hasn't changed in speeds. It's a sailboat. Yeah. Same technology they've been using for 500, was he getting 600 off years. Point points, though. He's like, I'm going to chill here for a bit. I believe that sailing around the world is like... Oh, getting off and chilling. At points that you need to. Put some time in Bali. That you couldn't ex- explore. It's it was ice an- deadland. He didn't explore. He sailed around it. Oh, he wasn't an okay. explorer. He didn't come to Australia and explore. Yeah. He came and just... Doc- he just stopped. And right, right. Interesting. Not exactly, to, but whatever. He's you trying know what to get I mean? an idea. Yeah. He, was a tr- he would travel. He would, wasn't an, uh, an explorer of actual land that yeah, much. Yeah. He would circumnavigate. Yes, to see the circumference and the size. Yeah, it is pretty crazy. That's my funnest one that I found. And what happened? So let's say he sails around. He realizes we're in an ice wall. He gets this doesn't end, and it circles the whole Earth, every continent. Yeah. And then what? He 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 realized this. Yeah. And is like, you know what? I'm not going to reveal this. This is this too much for the average human. To be able to take in. Back then, it's not like he went and got shot down. Yeah. He would have been like, um, it doesn't really add up. It's almost like there's an ice wall around us. It would have been like, oh, interesting. Yeah. I don't think they went back to Antarctica for a while after that. Um, this is way back. They had no need. They're like, this ice, we're not going to go explore and find what the hell this is. This would be so much money and there's nothing there besides ice. Interesting. We don't need to do that. We just found Australia. We'll go build a country there. Uh, we'll okay, get to yeah. it in a few hundred years. So he's like, do. yeah. He's got bigger things in mind. He's yeah. like, I don't need to really go into this. It would have been like, so you just saw ice. Like, okay. No, okay. It's a pretty sick place. Yeah, we'll look into that amazing. later. Yeah, yeah. So what's this? The ice wall theory. Um, so this is like known as a very... Along the edge of our local area... Exists a massive 150 foot ice wall. Okay. <laughs> Here we go, the ice wall. The Truman Show. <laughs> and aeroplanes proving the ice wall. That's pretty crazy. I don't know if it's real or not, <laughs> but that is nuts. And especially that it's not that high. Yeah. It's like, dude, just do it. Let's go over. That's crazy. It's so Truman Show as well, because it's like, why would you even want to do it? So one of my favorite scenes in the Truman Show is when he's a boy in class. Yeah. And he's like, I want to explore. And he's like, oh, Truman, we've already explored everything. There's nothing left to explore. So good. No, that's it. That's the whole giveaway of what the Truman Show is. <laughs> I would I wouldn't get that scene up. <laughs> it's a good, it'll come up. Um, Truman Classroom. Student. What a great film. I know. <laughs> I really do want to... Uh, get up the... <laughs> let's get some scenes. <laughs> great. A really great scene. That is terrifying. Perfect. That is like, that's flat earth right there. Yeah, legitimately. So like, oh, we've found every continent now. Here's Google Earth. With our satellites. <laughs> Just look at that. Even though you, we satellite phones don't work if you're in the middle of nowhere because they're not actually in space. But but they work. <laughs> but it's like, how come my satellite phone doesn't work when I'm way out in the country? Aren't they in space? Yeah. You're like, oh, yeah, whoops. Yeah, they should be working, <laughs> shouldn't they? They're not from the cell phone towers that don't reach the fire. Is that what back. they say when it comes to... Um, Cell phone towers? I don't know what the excuse is, but it's like, if the satellites, why doesn't it work everywhere? Yeah. It's an interesting. I mean, one. Elon Musk is sending all these satellites uh, up and now, you so maybe actual. there is some fix that it's like, oh, you just need more or something. I'm sure there is a reason. I've always thought that that, um, that was just known that you use the cell phone, cell phone towers for 3G and stuff like that. I didn't think there was a satellite in space. I thought you needed to be near the tower. Satellite phones. Oh, okay, right. Satellite phones. Still don't work far in the... C- I guess maybe they do. I don't know. <laughs> I'm looking at this scene. <laughs> so there's something like this going on, but with penguins. <laughs> what was the idea of the, the Truman Show? They were all watching him or something like that? Yeah, it's all a show. All watching Truman. 
And what world did they live in? They're on a base on the moon. Oh, really? Was that where everyone else lived? No, they were. He's trapped inside this little town. Yeah. And he, it's like it's still the world, but he just never leaves the town. Yes. Oh. And okay. there's the ice wall around the town. Oh. But yeah. our town, the the flat Earth symbology is that yeah. our town is Earth as we know it. Yeah. Yeah. But there is way more land out there. Yes. And whether it's the elites have set up this system 5,000 years ago or whether it's an alien, not an alien, a another advanced creature yeah. has trapped humans once they evolved yeah. in this parameter to keep us contained. And it's like, let's just leave this wild animal here. Because maybe they're nice. And they're like, we, we want to be in our zone and you guys are in your zone. Ah, uh, okay, interesting. Where, let's say, the people that always start wars, yeah. where the people that you just have to kind of keep in this area. And it's like, it's funny, the idea of how we do it to animals, that we put them in these habitats. Yeah. And they're yeah. relatively caged in because it's like, oh, you can't go past the electric fence. Interesting. And stuff like that. Is it human nature to want to cage a cage less... Cage something. Um, a, le- a slightly less advanced animal. Mm. We don't want them roaming our cities. Who wants that? Interesting. Apparently, lions and stuff used to roam cities in like yeah. Kenya, which well, is a pretty nuts thought. I mean, it would have been people would have been riding lions into battle probably back in the day. Gosh, imagine that would have been a cool place to live. So I do buyers get into that level. Oh yeah, you're starting like, to see all these rich people just have animals. Like I, I think zoos. why can't I have a tiger? They're not that dangerous. Yeah. Russian people they always really have aren't that dangerous. I don't know. I, I find that all animals are capable of love and compassion, and they're all cute. They're all sweet animals. All interesting. Of them. But Some what's are the a whole bit more deadly than others? Yeah. And of course, you don't want Americans because they're a bit too dumb and don't have the money to feed and contain them. Mm. So it's like you need these billionaires who can have a line. So I got enough food for it. I can. Study it enough to know it, have a yeah. trainer, have everything, have all the, its needs and worries. Is it, what's the sign? Is It's like you have to be a bit crazy and quite rich yeah. to be able to um, get away with living like that. Yeah. Which is surprising that Andrew Tate doesn't have it. Because <laughs> he's I in think some you ha- weird. You have to be kind of crazy. Compound though. in Romania. <laughs> yeah, literally. Just like some. It looks like he has a home that's in. Like the Gold Coast. Yeah, it's almost like, like a he's weird, a brokey. A weird... <laughs> it's yeah. weird. It's no, there's no class. It's just like a tacky Gold Coast home. Yeah. This Could be cool. worth like $3 million. Yeah, literally. In like, And maybe the interior the house is like $10 million or something. Yeah. But it's like... Like Rabina or something like that. Yeah. Like a $3 million home in Rabina with like a pool. Yeah. He's literally living kind of like the middle class dream in like a big <laughs> mansion. It's very strange. <laughs> yeah. Um... But I was thinking we, we're going to do, um, we might stop here. Yeah. Um, drink water vlog. Drink water vlogs. Um, yeah, but look, do your own research. Do your own research. It's fun. It's all fun. Yeah, Don't literally. go crazy with it. Because it it's crazy. You will go, you will, it's insanity. It can if you actually ruin your life. It. Yeah, I can imagine it literally causing a lot of problems. Let's have fun with it. Yeah, have a little bit of fun with it. Dip your feet in. Um, but peace. We're, we're homo sapiens, and that's about well, yo, eight steps down. I, I just want to make clear, because this is going out on the TV or whatever, that I, I don't do that stuff. I ain't got nothing against it. Oh.